Forty, whose mission is personal and planetary healing. I understand that the Group of Forty has a global planetary ocean reserve of light project. Can you tell us what are planetary ocean reserves of light and how are they raising the Earth's spiritual vibration for the ascension? Well, thank you, Christine, for this opportunity to explain uh, about the Planetary Ocean Reserve of Light project. I first have to explain that the Planetary Cities of Light project uh, began to create cities of light of high energy and spiritual energy. We decided to expand this uh, project of making sacred cities and sacred uh, neighborhoods. We decided that the oceans are also in need of uh, sacredness and the oceans are in need of making special sacred uh, energies. So we decided, that is the group of 40 and myself, to start the Planetary Ocean Reserve of Light project. The idea is that we will create ocean reserves of light that are similar to planetary cities of light. Now, when we look at the concepts of reserves of light, we first must designate a certain small area to be made sacred. There is a boundary uh, of the area, and we have an activation ceremony. We have a network where there are many group of 40 members around the world who participate in a special meditation. We have four designated members uh, who are willing to help do the activation and to maintain the spiritual energy of the area. Perhaps you can think of the planetary ocean reserves of light as spiritual protective energy shields around each of these beautiful areas. To understand the spiritual significance of planetary ocean reserves of light, let me spend a moment talking about holographic energy and holographic healing. It is our belief that the part influences the whole. So when you take that concept, uh, which is the basis of holographic energy and holographic healing, then you can see that if you take a small part of the ocean may, and make that small part of the ocean sacred, have people meditate in the area, have people do spiritual exercises, have people do uh, spiritual shielding around the area. This all helps to purify and make the area a higher vibration energetically. <clears throat> in holographic energy work, what is in one part permeates the whole. So a beautiful sacred spiritual reserve called the Planetary Ocean Reserve of Light can send beautiful energy, healing energy, and higher vibrations throughout the whole oceans. We all know, Christine, that the oceans are in serious difficulty due to extreme contaminations of pollutants. And there are the possibility of many uh, of the sea life dying because of the abuse that mankind has given to our beautiful oceans. The Planetary Ocean Reserve of Light project is a spiritual intervention, but it is also a physical manifestation of our desire to purify and protect these beautiful areas on the planet. These areas are representative of our belief of creating sacredness and holding that energy. It is necessary for the oceans to be preserved and protected for humanity's survival on this planet. Finally, when we are talking about the planetary ocean reserves of light, 
we must also say that it is a network, <clears throat> just like the planetary cities of light, which have networks uh, of a group of 40 members around the world interacting. It is also true of the planetary ocean reserves of light, that we want these ocean reserves of light to interact and participate in a network of higher vibrational, spiritual, sacred oceans and reserves of light. Do you have any other questions, Christine? Yes, David. I have a question for Lynn. Lynn Brooker, you are the international coordinator for the Group of 40 Planetary Ocean Reserves of Light Project. Can you tell us how many planetary ocean reserves of light the Group of 40 has, and where are they? Oh, I'd be happy to. Here you go. We have right now, we just started the ocean reserves this year. We have six planetary ocean reserves on three different continents, Europe, South America, and Australia. More specifically, we have one on the east coast of Australia at the Gold Coast. No, we have a, uh, a small area, as David pointed out, we want small areas to become very clear. Then we move over here, still in the Pacific Ocean, to Chile. And on this west coast of South America, near Concepcion, uh, we have an ocean reserve of light. Then if we move now to the Atlantic Ocean, just south of Buenos Aires in uh, Peninsula Valdez, we have another ocean reserve. Then moving up, still in the Atlantic Ocean, just south of the city of Rio de Janeiro. This is the city of Rio de Janeiro. And this over here is where we have the ocean reserve. Looking cl more closely, this is the area and it's one kilometer square of ocean and now uh, porpoises have been sighted in this general vicinity. Uh, this, uh, they haven't been around for five years so by doing more work in this area we hope to see more dolphin activity. Then we move over through the Atlantic to the Mediterranean Sea and the Black Sea. In the Mediterranean Sea we have an ocean reserve and near Stitches, which is near Barcelona. Then this sea is also connected through here to Romania. Romania here is where we have an ocean reserve. On this map you can see this red circle is the planetary city of light we have there. And this circle denotes the ocean reserve that is being worked on presently. But Christine, I want to point out that none of this happens without people. We have a group of 40 members around the world that have stepped forward. Those places have come about, spread nicely around the world, because that is where people have stepped forward and have committed themselves to working once a month or once a week, getting together to meditate to maintain a higher vibrational and create a higher vibrational area in their ocean reserve. And we look forward to more people stepping forward and being willing to go because it's also going to the place and interacting with the waters. Our, our physical presence is also very important uh, besides our meditating. So there you have it, Christine. Oh, thank you very much, Lynn, and thank you, David. This has been really informative. And David, can you tell us where people can go if they want to know more about the Planetary Ocean Reserves of Light Project in the Group of 40, or start their own Planetary Ocean Reserve of Light in the Group of 40 network? Well, yes, uh, people who are interested in the Planetary Ocean Reserve of Light Project can contact us through our website, www.groupof40.com and then under projects go to planetary cities of light. As I said in the beginning, 
the Planetary Ocean Reserves of Light is part of the Planetary Cities of Light project. Also, they can write directly to our Planetary Cities of Light and Planetary Oceans Reserves of Light coordinator, Lynn Pruker. You can reach Lynn at lynnpruker at groupof40.com. We have made a full-length video explaining some of the other work we are doing on the Planetary Cities of Light project, and that video is on YouTube, and the address is below uh, on your screen. So we are hoping that many of you who are watching this video will be uh, activated and uh, will enthusiastically decide to participate in protecting our oceans with spiritual light, spiritual energy, and helping to make each part of the ocean sacred. Thank you. Thank you so much, David and Lynn, for this helpful information. Thank you, Christine.